welcome back to Framations again. I am here with artist Joyce Thornton Fiore, but we go by Honey, right? Yes, that's All true. right. Honey, you got a couple pieces in the All Things Wild show. You want to tell us a little bit about Refuge? What inspired you to paint it and the media? Well, my favorite color is blue, and I'm always water. It, it just does something for me. And um, I just, I just I don't know, thought it up and... Of course, I had to study turtles. Oh yeah. <laughs> a little bit. So how, how long did you study turtles for to do the painting? I don't know. I, I looked at so many of them and just tried to draw one out. That's how I made it. Oh, I think you did a great job getting it drawn out. <laughs> it's beautiful. Is it any certain locale, or is everything all from your imagination? For imagination. You? For That's fantastic. Yeah. So now this is in acrylic, correct? Mm -hmm. Do you? But you work in more than acrylic, yes. right? Yes, oils, and uh, also I like to play with uh, the resin and the coloring, different things like that. Oh yeah, Doyce has another piece in the show that we'll show you in a little bit, which is completely different than Refuge. <laughs> <laughs> you do a lot of different things. I do. I what, do. What's your favorite media to work in? Well, lately, I'm back in oils. I like to do oils. All right. you know, I'm working on a couple pieces, but I still like the, the coloring, and it's because it's so different, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I can think of silly things like what I have in this already. <laughs> that you've been painting a long time, right? Um, when did you start? Um, I started painting when I was in my 20s, but after children, I quit. Mm. Did not have time. Did not have some money. <laughs> <laughs> and um, actually, when my husband passed away in 2010, is when I picked it up again. Wow. Well, I'm sorry that your husband passed away, but you're creating some beautiful art. Yeah, you know, that's kind of an honor to him, right? It got me through some bad. Bad time. There's a lot to be said for art and therapy mixed yeah. together. Yeah. So you're right. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great that you're back to painting again. You know, yeah. it's never too late to pick up what a hobby I do you love. Other than that, <laughs> that's the first thing I think of when I get up, and usually when I go to bed. <laughs> well, you've been entering shows here quite a while. I've seen yeah. a lot of your pieces. They're yeah. wonderful. Well, I, I keep trying. You know. <laughs> a couple, yeah. Oh yeah, you have. And I've sold from here. Before. And you've sold it's a good place. Too. Yeah, it's a good place to sell. Oh, thank you. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of customers, I guess. A lot of people on the street. We do get a little bit of traffic around here, so yeah. you know. I mean, today, not so much. It's 110 degrees outside, so you know, not a lot of walking traffic today. But no. at least it's cool in here. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Now, Honey has another really cute, very different piece from her from the Refuge piece that we were talking about. Don't ruffle my feathers. It's awesome. It's a it's a shelf set. Tell us about it, Honey. Well, I just I, I have a special woodcutter. When I ask him to do something for me, he is right there. He's uh, now who's he? Uh, his, his name is Bob. That's a We'll just call him Bob. Bob the woodcutter. <laughs> Bob the woodcutter. Because <laughs> right now I can't think of his late name, but he's, he's anything I ask him to do, he, he can figure out how to cut it. So and, do you draw it out and then he cuts and, it out for you? That's what I did. I just said, this is what I want. <laughs> now, I got to say, the cat is a, she's a shelf sitter, so she actually balances on here. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. And then the six kids on coordinating shelf and the little the little bird. Look at that thing. Cute. That's why it's called Don't Ruffle My Feathers. Yeah. yeah. You stick them on a fireplace or anywhere. Are you doing a lot of these? Um, if I get orders for them, I do. Now, where can they order from? Do you have a website they order from? I do not have a website. Well, if you want to order a custom made piece from Tiny. Contact us at the gallery and we'll get you in touch with Honey and you can tell her what you want and she can make you something up and I sure can. maybe we can get it shipped out for you. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot of stuff that I could show you pictures of, but then I don't have a website. So <laughs> well are you on Facebook or Instagram? No. No, you're like my mom. She doesn't she doesn't have she doesn't even my mom doesn't even have an answering machine at home. <laughs> like 
it's like if it has more than one button, we don't use it at yeah. her house. Yeah, we don't know how to do it. You know, I'm the only one in my house. Hey, you're way, way on board faster than my mom with the, with technology. Like I know you're you're on the internet at least. Yeah. At least so I like, and you're that. emailing. So like you're way above the. I don't wave on the crowd. I don't sound too intelligent. I don't talk to these people. I'm you sure. do. <laughs> You're fine. You know, so when you make these, and Bob, now you send Bob the template, then he cuts the form for you, and then what's the process from there on? Well, then then you uh, you prime it, and then you choose your colors, and you can pour on it all these colors, or you can pour and blow on them, or you can use a dryer and blow on them or just to get them to go the way you want sure and you can work with it a few minutes until it decides to stop <laughs> and um, if you don't like it you scrape it <laughs> oh, oh my and then do you cover them in resin then and then after it dries yeah wow that's a lot of steps but they turn out they turn out beautiful don't you agree Hit the thumbs up if you think that Don't Ruffles Your Feathers is just adorable. <laughs> yeah, if you could, yeah, I wish I could tell. Uh, yeah, you can always go through Amy and you find me. Yeah, <laughs> really we'll, put interested. You in, we'll put you in touch. So, you know, no. we'll do some communicating for you in between. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's something nobody knows about, honey? I love dancing. Yeah. I'm an old dancer. So, do you do the swing dancing? I can do any kind you of You can do any kind of dancing. All right. That's awesome. I, I can't dance. I got, this is how much rhythm I got. <laughs> no, I'm a good dancer. I really am. My yeah. husband was a good dancer. So did you guys go cut the rug all over town? All over paint it red? <laughs> and you can't do it anymore. There's no Harley There's Anderson nowhere to go. go. Yeah. Like, I remember when I was younger, I, I, my parents used to talk about the castle on the ballroom uh -huh. all the time. Yeah. And I was like, when I get, when I grow up, I'm gonna go to the castle. Well, they like, closed by the time I grew up. <laughs> it's like it's just not fair. There really is not very many places no. where you can go. At one dance. time, though, you could almost go on every corner, and there was a band. Yeah. And you could dance. Well, dancing today is kind of a different. It's different. It's it's not. Nobody as, dances like. It's not as romantic. Like I, I like I miss like the. And I didn't even get to participate in it. Like, but I look at old movies and, and, and TV shows, and I go, that would have been a great time to like learn to dance because you actually like you're you're it's well, very with another person. With yeah. it. It's very romantic, very stylish, and now it's just kind of like I don't know. Anything. I don't. I don't know how they dance today because they're well. For one thing, I don't know where they would go dancing. Oh, there's some nightclubs, but they're not really. It's more like you stand there and just kind of <laughs> I don't thump know. in time with the music, you know. They sure are missing out on a lot. Oh, they missed out. The, the kids today missed out on like the, the really good. I could romance I could. and rhyme and the you know the beauty of like dating, like the online dating. Oh my God! Like yeah. I can't even imagine. I what I mean. That was the fun of dating, was waiting for, you know, somebody to ask you out or trying to get the nerve up to ask somebody out, you know, I like... Hope he asked me because he's a good dancer. Yes, yeah. you know, <laughs> or, uh, you know, I, I don't want to be the wallflower along the side and, you know, and the kids are missing out. Like, I was fortunate and I married somebody who liked to dance too. <laughs> yeah, my uncle and my Aunt Marsha were like that and my Uncle Jerry and my, they're great dancers, they danced all over the place. And, yeah, I could jitterbug, I could shag, I could do pretty much everything. Wow. At one time. Not can you time. show us a move? Can you see still no. <laughs> no? I am too old anymore. I can't even stand up hardly. I work with a cane, you know, Aww. most of the time. Well, I bet you still got a little groove in you. I can. Well, I bet when you hear the music, you get a little bit oh, of groove. Yeah. yeah, I can do that at home. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have the music. Oh, yeah. This is, well, it's been so much fun chatting with you today, honey. So maybe next time you're on, we can do it again? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it's hard getting people to go on camera and talk. It's so yeah, hard. It's different. Yeah, it's different. Well, thank you, too. Well, it's good. All right. Well, till next time, enjoy art, be original, and have a great day.